So we are out at the barn this morning and we are going to take the llama and these this mammoth donkey over to Barney Park right now because there's a pen set up for them so that they can be held for the day. Okay, so we got Lammy. Okay, so Alex wanted me to adopt Craig because everybody's in love with Craig. He's such a sweet cow. And I said, we are not adopting a completely useless cow. He is not a milk cow. He is not a beef cow. And <laughs> Alex, what did you say? He's an emotional support cow. He's an emotional support cow. <laughs> Is that an outrageous idea? Can you take him on airplanes? Yes. <laughs> if, he has, if he has a service animal vest on. Oh my gosh, that's hysterical. Oh, you're so funny. Okay, so the goats have been fed. It's dinging because I don't have my seatbelt on. The goats have been fed by a friend of mine. And we're going to get the um, donkey and the llama there and put in their pen so they can chill out and get used to the environment for the day while I finish the rest of our chores. So... And the, the um, donkey didn't want to get in the trailer yeah, this morning. Weird. No, he got in the trailer just fine. What he didn't want to do is get closed into that particular stall. He didn't so, want to get all the way in. Yeah, he didn't want to get all the way in. So, Okay, right. so we've got hay, chickens, and Craig is just like, I'll go ahead and get in there. Come on, Craig. Jump up. Okay, tie him up high. You have the ring up above you. What do you think about this, Jeff? I've never seen so many chickens. Oh, these are only half of her chickens. She had a whole, she had a whole like 40 of them, I think. Yeah, go ahead and shut the, the door on Craig. Okay, so this I've never done before. Had my son ride in the back of a horse trailer. So just stand up by Craig's head, okay? Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, we have a child in the back uh -oh. with some chickens. <laughs> child looks more like a man than every He's other a... child. <laughs> How'd they do? Wait, we weren't going to take Craig out yet. All of these need to be zip tied. It's closed, right? Yes. So nobody opens them. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I will be by to feed, to fill their feed. But nobody open this gate because these chickens will run. run. They run. will run so fast. We will not catch them. And we will not catch them. Not at all. Okay? I don't want to see that though. Knock it off. <laughs> you troublemaker. Okay, so we're going to unload the rest of the hay bales over here at this manger so that when the critter is tied right here to this line, they're gonna keep their attention over here at Mary and Joseph. That's the idea. No, because then it's sticking out. I, that's okay. Do the same thing on the other side, please. You're carrying that like it's no big deal. Where's this one going? On top. What's my name? Asher, sorry. Shush. Grandma Fisher will understand. So I'm here at Janet's barn and we are going to pick up Hero. But Hero is down the street in a pasture with another guy who has really bad separation anxiety issues. And so we're going to here, we're sitting here and we're going to take Bug. We're going to take him down to where Hero is so he can keep that horse company so that we can take Hero and use Hero in the uh, living nativity. You ready to go, Bug? All right, let's go. Jump in here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, so we are where Bug is gonna stay, and we're gonna go back and grab Hero. Let's go. He he just wants the, the treat that you have in your hand. How is the trip, Hero boy? Huh? Come on, kiddo. Come on, old man. Come on, old man. Let's go. He's an old guy. He's over 20 years old. And he's so handsome. He's so, so handsome. Okay, so he's good. So we are collecting yet more animals. So we have Abraham again. And over here is his friend, Gil. 
Gil is an albino donkey. And John over here is the owner. Say hi to YouTube. Hello. <laughs> so we're just gonna walk over here and just walk him to the, to the park. It's just gonna be easier. Archer, can you get out of there before you get wet? You know how moms can see things coming? Could you get out of the ditch, please? Thank you so much. We so appreciate you donating your critters to our cause. No problem. I hope you guys can come. Yeah, it's yeah. going to be such a fun thing. So apparently Abraham and Gil have a fan following. Check that out. Wow. All these horses are like, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> will Gil go through the barriers? Yay. I know Abraham will. We did it the other day. Good boy. So Archer and I just had to walk back to the car where the donkeys lived, which was good. We got some more chain and we're gonna go back to the park, give that to Asher, get that in place, get the donkeys some water. And we have to go get Alex from work. And then uh, by then it'll be time to go get Amelie from school. And we'll probably have to pull that horse trailer over and leave it at the park for the evening just so that we have everything that we need when we get over there. Um, we're gonna to get a wheelbarrow so that we can clean up the poop after all of these critters, get washed up, get in our costumes, and by then it should be starting. So it's three o'clock, it starts at 6.30, and I still have lots of stuff to do. But all the animals are at the park except for the two horses. And those horses are both at my house, and I know them, and they're very well behaved, so I'll be able to get them no problems. And my mom wants to know if I have a partridge in a pear tree. Tell me where the partridge in a pear tree fits in the Christmas story. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think I, so. I can't find a place. I can't find a place. Come on, Red. Let's go get in the trailer. Let's go get in the trailer. All right. Go on, Big Red. Go on, horse. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy. Do those look like Roman horses to me, don't they? With an eight, With on, an his eight on his butt. <laughs> he still hasn't had a bash. Yeah. We're going to unload the horses and get them all groomed up and walk them through the park so that they know what to expect and they're not spooky at any So this is going to be the little village. We've got chickens over here. And look at all these. This this looks amazing. Yeah, oh my! Keep bringing in more stuff. This is actually the last two animals. I love it. This is these are the Roman horses that are going to be. You guys are awesome. <laughs> Thanks so much for doing this. You're no awesome. problem. Five more chickens over there. We got some more over here on the left, right over there. Hey guys! Looking great. Long time no see. Oh my goodness. Okay. So here is the goats. We've got a couple sheep in there. And the ones with collars on are going to be walked around by shepherds over there underneath the tree. Right here is gonna be a llama and a mammoth donkey with the wise men right there. And on that side of the road is gonna be a bunch of horses tied to the fence. And on this side is gonna be this manger seat. And the Highline tie goes up above it, so you can't see it. And then on one side is gonna be a donkey and on the other side is gonna be a cow. And then in the front is gonna be a goat and a sheep. Oh my gosh, you guys, we did it. Lots of help, lots of supporters. Thank you, thank you, thank you for everybody that volunteered their critters to be here. Wait, look at this, look at this hero nose sticking out. Hi, BB. Hi, Big Red. Look at this book, Red. Whoa, 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 nope, 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 we're not going back yet. Not yet, boy. You're going to go back anyway, aren't you? All right, have fun. Come here. That's my big ride. You're such a good boy. All right, let's go get Hero out of there. We've got Hero and we've got Red. And we're going to go over to this little village over here and just kind of let them sniff around and get them used to it because this is where they're going to be working tonight. Um, they're going to be working the line of cars up and down, up and down. So, oh baby, you are so pretty. Are you sleeping? Yeah, we keep getting a count just to make sure none of it escaped, but they're doing pretty good. 
<laughs> He's saying hi? The horses don't know how to respond. Yeah, the horse is like, I don't speak that language. Okay, so here's Hero. I know, buddy, yeah. So we got him draped in the regal colors. Look at that. So underneath here is this endurance saddle, okay? And we've made the stirrups as long as we can, hoping Asher will fit. Need a screwdriver. Do I have a screwdriver? No, I don't have a screwdriver. I might actually. No, I got it. I got it. Well, this is quite the getup. Look at this. And I, mine is pretty cool too. So we have a few other things, just last minute things to get the animals in place, like putting Craig over by the manger, putting the donkey out on the line, stuff like that. So we're gonna go do that real quick. And, but we're all, we're all ready to go. This is amazing. It kind of came together, so. Ripe avocado. Sweet orange <laughs> tart for sale. Would you like to buy some bread? <laughs> I know I want those chickens. <laughs> oh my gosh. Your son walked by on his horse and I was like, it's the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. It looks so good with this uniform. Yeah, it does. It does. Oh, it does. I can guarantee you that these grapes will change your life. You cannot find better grapes throughout Asia, throughout Africa, throughout Europe. These Right, we'll change your life. It's simple as that. Red, get your lemons, lemons. Wow, you guys, so good. Whose name was Joseph, and the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came unto her. Nicely done, guys. <laughs> Nicely done. This is awesome. Lots of fun. So they wanted to see Asher on the horse so bad. They literally brought out extra lights right here just for him because he's making such an impression. This is so cool. Okay, so I have to go and put a fire out with the mammoth donkey. He is stomping all over the manger um and he stepped on the cord and made the light go out and everything and so we have to find another adult to be able to get down there with him so we're gonna do that now okay so that went really really well we had a couple of fires that we had to put out the donkey um, was not tolerating the goats or the sheep or anything like that very well so Abraham, poor little Abraham, we had to switch him out. Um, we ended up using the mammoth donkey over there. The mammoth donkey didn't like the goats either. Um, and somebody used the straw bale that was acting as the fence for, oh goodness, for the goat area um, to 
put the bedding down uh, for the manger. They ended up pretty much taking half my fence down, which meant this mammoth donkey was able to get around the back side of the manger. And he was really pulling on that high line tie pretty hard. And he was about to like pull down the manger itself. And then he got around the back of it and got his legs tangled up in the electrical cords, in the extension cords, and the star over the manger went out. And I have a picture of it out, and then I have a picture of it on. So we're gonna tweak a few things. We're probably gonna put um, Gil, the albino donkey, over at the manger and put the mammoth donkey over at a tree or something like that. Abraham just was not having it, so but that's okay uh, i'm over taking a break um because my my legs and my back are absolutely killing me and I, I was getting some hot cocoa and i get a phone call um from someone that is their horse is colicking so i am currently running an equine ambulance right now so i went over and i got tom from his house in phoenix so i literally have driven uh probably 45 minutes away from from the house in order to go get him and get him back over to Arizona Equine. He is colicking. I've already called Arizona Equine. They know we are on our way. Prayers for Tom.